Now from herd immunity to Pfizer's booster shots, we know you have a lot of questions today. So we're going to bring in our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. Thanks for being with us today. Hi, Kara. Good morning. Good morning. OK, so we're hearing about the Delta variant. It's becoming more prevalent and we've talked about whether or not you should be concerned. And I messaged you earlier this morning because I said we need some clarification for folks since we're hearing a lot of different things. So what can you tell us? Yeah, I think we all should be concerned. You just mentioned and the studies show that three weeks ago it was about 10 percent of Americans and Texans that had the virus. A chart can actually show it went up to 25 percent last week. And this week they're saying it's becoming the dominant strain. So it's escalating significantly. Same thing happened in England earlier this year. Now it's the dominant virus there and hospitalizations and deaths have increased in England because of that. So scientists are saying this next couple months, beware, a surge is likely to happen because of this Delta variant. And so for people who are vaccinated, I know you had mentioned to me that they really don't need to be concerned because the vaccine covers the variant. And then we hear this news from Pfizer that they're requesting some sort of a booster. And I think there's some mixed messaging going along, at least for people who are really paying attention because the FDA and CDC say otherwise. So what does Pfizer have to prove to convince them that that's the case? Yeah, well, Pfizer's already said that they have measured antibody levels and they go up if you've had a third shot. They call it a booster shot. FDA pushes back and says, well, wait a minute, your shot's already very effective. Do we need that? They want more data to actually convince them that they should approve that. So we'll see more studies, more bantering back and forth between the FDA and Pfizer in months to come. Right now, they're not recommending a third booster shot, no. And so just to make sure that people understand, when it comes to the Delta variant and when it comes to being vaccinated, how effective is it said to be right now from the data that we do have? Yeah, these vaccines, they can almost guarantee that with the Delta variant or any other variant of the coronavirus, you will not get seriously ill, you won't have to be hospitalized, you won't die. It's that good. You might get a minor case of it, but these vaccines, all three vaccines, if you're fully vaccinated, that means two weeks after your second Pfizer shot, Moderna shot, or two weeks after the single J&J &J shot, you're fully vaccinated, then you are protected from serious illness, Kara. And one of the big things that, you know, you heard about for so long, the symptoms, right? So you thought, okay, if I lose my taste or um, if I can't smell anything, there were certain things that you watched for. And now we're hearing that when it comes to the Delta variant, these symptoms may be different. Yeah, they are a bit different and it's really hard to tell. You know, right now, the, one of the common things that you can get with this new Delta variant is sneezing, runny nose, sore throat, headache. Well, that could be a common cold, could be allergies. So it is hard to tell the difference. Not taste and smell, that usually is not present. But you know, here's the important thing to point out. Last year, when everyone was masking, or many people masking, distancing, washing their hands, I in my practice saw zero case of influenza, very, very few cases of the common cold. Now, common colds are coming back. If we're not masking, you need to be careful with that. I think if you consider you might have a cold, it could be COVID, so be careful. Stay home. If you're not sure you really want to know, get a test. And we also talked about Dallas County having um, the, the prized uh, uh, herd immunity, right? We've heard so much about that. But I've had a few people say, well, uh, what if I don't live in Dallas County? What, is, what does it matter to me? How does that impact me? What are your thoughts? Yeah, and it certainly varies around the country. When you see pockets where there's very few people that got the vaccine, that's a hot spot. I think the big message, if you're vaccinated, you are protected. We need to keep emphasizing that. If you're not vaccinated, if you want to stay not vaccinated, please stay home, wear a mask, protect yourself, wash your hands repeatedly when you get outdoors. It's a dangerous thing going on right now. I worry about this Delta virus. We need to get back to basics because we're seeing shutdowns around the world, Australia, Tokyo Olympics, they were going to allow 50% uh, visitors now, zero visitors, because that coronavirus, the new Delta variant, is going around the world. It's a dangerous, pesty, pesty bug. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Winter. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next week.